this morning. I had to have a little fever match with somebody real quick. They tried to cut me off and whatnot. But yeah, what it do, YTZ? It's like four in the morning, man. I'm on my way to work. I, I decided I'd be so busy at work. Like, like look, I might be busy as fuck at work the next like couple weeks. Cause they got these mandatory hours and mandatory weekends shit that we gotta do. So I figure I'ma vlog, start vlogging my whole week and just give y'all a whole week vlog like in one. And then on weekends I'ma do my thing like how I do. But I got y'all. Y'all be asking for more shit. I got y'all. Stay tuned. On a good day, on a good good day, I work 30 minutes away. On a bad day, I work an hour and some change. <laughs> There's always traffic at my job, like, especially when we leaving. There's so many motherfuckers leave at the same time. Like, the shit is ridiculous, yo. Like, getting to the highway is traffic, like. So look, right, when I was locked up in federal prison, I used to, I used to see, like, a lot of, like, famous motherfuckers, yo. I was, uh... I was, like, when I say I was locked up with so many, like, senates, mayors, governors, shit like that, yo. It was Olympic coaches up there, like, they used to uh, work for, it was a dude, right? It was a coach for the Olympics up there, yo, had, like, 10 years. Because he was messing with all the little kids at the fucking Olympics, yo. Like, the shit was crazy. But he was protected. He had a lot of money. Um, so, like, uh, and he was white, so... The white supremacist gangs would protect them when we would try to get them. Like, they would, would, would protect them for real. So, it was like, if you want to get to the little center, uh, the little coach for the Olympics, you got to really beef with the white crazy person. So, it was really hard to get to them for real. But, um, I remember uh, when I went to the hole, I had got caught with my phone and I went to the hole for a couple months. It was six months, 23 and one, and then it was snowing, so I was in my cell 24 hours a day for like the first three months. Um, two showers a week. Once we fight, they take away the showers, so half of the weeks I didn't get no showers. I would just wash up in my toilet water. But side note, <clears throat> I went to the hole one day, so everybody like, yo, when, if you get a visit, get it on this day and this day. So I'm like, I'm thinking like maybe we could get some drugs in or something that day. I don't know. I'm trying to figure them niggas out for real. So I'm like, why the fuck should I be getting my visits on these days? They like, cause Mendici in here. So I'm like, Mendici, mind you, I was just uh, in the Supermax prison with one of Mendici's uh, co-defendants. And everybody kept saying like, Mendici was right, Mendici was right. But I was in a cell with, with, with his co-defendant. I read Mendici paperwork. Mendici was not telling. So I'm saying here, like, I need to really go in the yard and let people know, like, Mendici is not telling. Everybody keep thinking on the yard, Mendici telling, and they're going to try to hurt him. But they like, he Mendici, and the niggas that he with ain't going for that shit. They was not going for that shit. So they used to always tell me, like, yo, Go on these days cause Yandy come. <laughs> Yo, so I'm like, what? And this dude's like, yeah, his wife be coming to visit him. She be looking good as shit, this and that. They be like, they don't, they don't be bringing no cameras and shit all the time. They brought the cameras a couple times, like once or something like that, but they don't really bring the cameras. But they like, man, you get to see Man uh Mandisi and his wife and shit like that. I'm tripping like, yo. Y'all wouldn't be y'all would be surprised how much fucking soap operas we watch in prison. I tell Chanel all the time, like, yo, all I did was watch Love and Hip Hop Basketball Wives, Black Ain't Crew, anything on VH1, E, B T, anything, any TV shows, the game, how to get away with murder. I know every TV show up and down. I didn't watch every season. I'm talking about one time. For like a week straight, yo, we watched like the whole everything. Like it was like every basketball wives from season one. We watched the whole shit, yo. Like anything with females on there, we gonna watch. Why? Because I wanna beat my dick later on tonight. So I'ma watch Cardi B and them on my fucking uh Love and Hip Hop Atlanta all night. 
and I'm gonna just stare at the TV. I'm gonna listen to the story plots and all that. And when I go back in my cell, I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna think about all the eggs and I'm gonna beat the shit out of my eggs before I cook it. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, uh, so while I was up, I was, I'm not gonna say weird because, you know, like, I don't, I don't wanna put his business out there like that. So another spot I went to, right? It was, it's actually the same spot. It's crazy. It was actually the same spot, just a different side. You got high, medium, and low. So I was in the medium, and then I went to the low before I got transferred. So I'm in there. They like, yeah, motherfucking Apollo in here. So I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, hell no. Mind you, I'm watching all these shows, and we seeing all this shit. So they like, Apollo in here. I'm like, Apollo from my fucking basketball wise? They like, yeah, he in here. He, yo, when I say he was one of the realest motherfuckers, like, if you would consider Apollo a celebrity, which we would, because he was all on our fucking TVs every day, all day. So, we like, yo, for him to be a celebrity, he did not have any game protection. He didn't have no police protection. It was like no special treatments. He was really walking around the yard with us. He was working out with us, but of course not with us. He was in a New York car and a New Jersey car. I'm from Baltimore. I can't hang around New Jersey people and New York people. That's 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 not how that works. So I will always see him and they will speak and all that. If y'all not beefing, of course y'all could be cordial, but me as a Baltimore blood, I ain't hanging with no New Jersey bloods and none of that. Like that's just how it is. Like, it's either we hanging with our city or we hanging with our set. We all gonna be bloods no matter where we from or we gonna fuck with our city. I fuck with my city, so I'm from Baltimore. I'm not on no blood shit. So, that was just a side note into the history of prison, but I, I used to see him all the time. Yo, used to be big as a motherfucker, yo. He used to be big as shit, working out like he a fucking gang member. And I'm tripping like, yo, this nigga ain't got nobody with him. Like, we could really run up on him if we want. Old time, man, Apollo gonna break something I ain't fucking have. That nigga used to be lifting all the weights in the world, yo. That nigga was in perfect fucking condition. If anybody would've ran up on yo, they'da got hurt. Real shit, they'da got hurt. So, I finally get my points down. I'm at, uh, I went somewhere. I, I can't remember where I went. So, nigga say, bro, you know, uh, dude, like, uh, my, when I first got in, they like, yeah, uh, the dude, uh, you know, little baby. So I'm like, little baby. I'm like, no, nah, I don't know who the fuck little baby is. Mind you, that's when he he just was leaving. So I'm like, little baby. They like, yeah, he just left such and such pound. So they just say he was just up here. So I'm like, oh, all right, what about him? They say, man, shorty crazy as shit. But they say he nice as shit on the rapping and shit. Shorty hard on the rapping. So mind you, I'm fucking listening to little baby, the baby, all that. But for everybody even caught on to him because all of them, like, like the cities, like how we was telling everybody, yo, go listen to Lil Scooter, go listen to YG Tech, go listen to F&B Flock and all them niggas, you feel me? We telling them to do that, putting them on the niggas that's getting hard. They telling us, yo, go listen to Lil Baby. North Carolina people, yo, go listen to uh, The Baby. So I'm confused, like, Lil Baby, The Baby, what the fuck? I'm like, all right, I'm listening to Baby Talk 1 and all that shit. And I'm like, yo, who the fuck is this nigga? So I'm sitting there tripping one day. Nigga's like, yeah, listen to the dude T Grizzly. He just left. So I'm like, yo, who is all these motherfuckers? Everybody put me on, I swear to God, y'all. Y'all wouldn't believe how turned up they was by the time I came home. I'm fucking tripping like, yo, that nigga Lil Baby. They was just talking about Lil Baby on the pod, yo. Like... I'm like, yo, that shit crazy, yo. He, by the time I came home, he was starting to blow. Like him and the baby and Gunner and all them started to lay. So I'm like, yo, that shit crazy how how life could just turn around. So I always knew like, all right, I wanna be an actor. I wanna be, you know, I wanna be that. So I know it's possible. Oh shit, I almost took the wrong exit. I know it's possible because I seen T Grizzly come out of the feds. I seen uh, Lil Baby and them come out and do that shit. So I'm like, it's it's not, it's not like reachable. It's very reachable. So I just told myself like, yo, I just gotta, like it was a lot going on with, like it was just a lot going on 
of course transitioning back to society but I always had in my heart like alright yo I can still do this shit and then I lost my mother that shit just fucking crushed me all over again yo it was like I couldn't catch a break so I kind of just gave up on everything yo and I remember this was the time when I was dealing with uh, Shorty my ex and I told her one day yo like it feel like my world over like it just feel like I don't have no motivation to do anything now that I don't have her in my life like and she like shitted on me yo like she said I was like less than a man and all that shit because of the way I felt once she did that I was completely over her I wasn't in love with her no more um like yeah it was just like yeah I wanna get the fuck on now like there was no more feelings whatsoever for that girl so to this day, I would never, I would never give a fuck about her, cause, like, I opened up to you, like I opened up to nobody, and you shitted on me, like as a woman, you supposed to be there for your man when he going through the worst shit in his life, like I lost my mother, like, it don't get no worse than that. I don't give a fuck what happened to me no more, like it don't get no worse than that. But for her to shit on me when I told her that shit, and I opened up to her. Yeah, like shit, never, ever, 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 ever. That's why I like females, y'all. I know y'all, y'all, y'all don't know. Like y'all, y'all don't even know. Like the smallest things, yo, go a long way with the fellas, yo. It could be the smallest shit you could do for me, yo, and that shit would be the biggest shit any any other female could ever do. So when I met Chanel, yo, I was like mentally broken, like I I was lost. I didn't know which way was up. Like, it was just so much. Yo, when I say that girl, yo, y'all wouldn't believe, boy. Y'all wouldn't believe how much that girl helped me, yo. Like, she fixed my whole mind, yo. Like, I don't even think the same way, yo. Like, that shit crazy, yo. She helped me out so much, yo, when I just needed somebody to just be there for me, yo, and just to believe in me, yo. Now, look. Like, I, I, in my last relationship, I wanted to work out. Motherfucker, was too fucking lazy to work out. So now I couldn't work out. I worked out a couple days and was like, man, fuck that shit. But Chanel, man, we been in that bitch. She told me the other day, like, five consecutive months. I ain't never looked this good in my motherfucking life. Like, that shit crazy. But I tell Chanel my dreams, you know? I tell her my dreams, my aspirations. So I want her to know, like, what I'm working on. And she's going to help me. Like, she's like, all right, you want to act? You want to model? You want to you wanna be an influencer and stuff like that? All right, cool. I tell her my goals. So she's like, all right, let's get to it. I want to look a certain way. So you know what? We got straight to it. She said she would do it with me. And she been doing it with me. So I got to fuck with her for that, yo. Like, people don't care about your dreams. She got dreams. What I do? I'm right there pushing her harder than she even want to go. That's just how it's supposed to be in a relationship. It's not supposed to be every person for their self. That's not a relationship. That's y'all fucking. I'm telling you that now. If it's every person for their self, that's y'all fucking. I used to work with this dude, right? He told me his girl was uh, doing something, right? And he said, his girl said she got like some big news or she got something big coming up and shit like that. So mind you, they live together, they in a relationship and everything. He asked her, like, so what's up? Like, what's the news? What's going on in your life? Like, what is you talking about type stuff? And she tell him, I don't I don't really want to tell you. I don't want you to uh, pray for my downfall. I'm like, what? Yo, when he told me that, I said, she said, what? He was so pissed, yo. He like, yo, that's my fucking woman, yo. She told me she didn't want me to pray for her downfall. I'm sitting there like, all right. I had to tell him, like, all right, look. You got to understand from a from just a vision point of view when telling people your dreams that 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 kind of backfires that do kind of backfires so i'm like yo i'm gonna tell you this chanel literally just told me this i i swear yo chanel told me this a week ago and i was fucking trying to bust a hole in the wall because i said chanel no longer like she don't like me she don't look at me like a life partner no more because she won't tell me nothing she doing. Like she want to do something so important, but she won't tell me because she don't want the energy around it to be fucked up. And at first I'm like, man, that's fucked up, yo. This supposed to be my girl, like my woman. Like 
I want to marry this girl and all that. And she won't even tell me what she's doing, yo. So I kind of was standoffish. So I told her that. And she just and she just explained it like it's it's not really you. It's it's not really you. She just she just had to process everything before she presented to me. And it was it was a big thing. And I'm glad that she did get the process it so she could present it to me the way I needed it. Because I'm not like every other nigga. I'm an alpha male, so I'm gonna take shit a, a, a certain type of way. You my lady, you my wife, you my woman, you ain't had my child. No, you're not about to be sneaking around doing shit. That's just how I am. Cause I'm not gonna sneak around and do nothing. I'm gonna tell you what it is before that shit happens so you don't look at me crazy. If I try to act like I don't wanna tell shit no, I'm doing something, I'ma have to go through procedures. Say like I'm I'm getting a tattoo. I'm gonna have to go meet up with the dude to get my tattoo. That girl crazy, she gonna think I'm going out fucking every night. Whole time, I'm telling her not to touch me because I got a new tattoo I don't want her to see yet. She's not trying to hear that. She's gonna tell me to go right on that fucking couch. But yeah, I just be, I just be, uh, I really be all over the place. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. I just be thinking about stuff, yo, like stuff in my life. Like, how the fuck, for one, how did I make it this far? And when I asked you now that question, when I say I was in like, I was so down, yo. I was so down in the slump, yo, after losing my baby, yo. It was just so, it was so hard, yo. To this day, it is very hard to live without your mother. I don't care how old you are. Like, it's very hard to live without your mother, yo. That shit, fuck, I could rip this fucking stern wheel off right now. Like, shit crazy. But I always, like, I always try to do better. But when I was down, 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 like Chanel was telling me, like, yo, this shit ain't over with, my nigga. It's just getting started. And I told her, like, yo, it feel like my world's starting over. Like, it feel like I was a child again. It, when, like, yo, when I when I snapped out of the uh, trends of my mother being gone, when I snapped out of that shit, it was like I opened my eyes for the first time as a baby, yo. I promise you, yo, everything felt different. The wind blowing on me felt different. The sky looked different. The air, it just, everything, it's like you're watching a different movie. You know how you watch a movie and, and you just watch another movie? That's how it was. It was like I was watching Training Day all day, and then all of a sudden I just switched to a belly. Like, like that shit crazy. Everything was totally different. My, my whole, everything is different. I'm not the same person whatsoever. I, like, I, I don't enjoy anything, yo. Y'all might hear me say that a lot because it's for real. I don't really enjoy anything. I just, I just, it's like I just was out here just, uh, whatever. Like, I had to regain all that. I had to regain all that. And that's not fair to Chanel, yo. That, that, that's not fair to be with somebody and you gotta regain. Like, that's not fair. So I, I jumped out of that shit quick. Once Chanel helped me through that shit, I realized what's, what was going on. I said, oh yeah, I got, I can't be like this my whole life. Like, hell no. So, as you know, like, when I went to visit my mother uh, on Mother's Day, like, I did good. I ain't cry. Like, you know, like, I was good. And that's how I want to be. Like, I hurt every day, yo. I hurt every single, every, every single day. Every day I, I cry. Every day I, I feel sorrow. Every day I wish she was here. Like, but I know, yo, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta live too. I gotta live too. I try to think about her talking to me like church like what the fuck like you got I, I i picture her talking to me like all the time like come on man like you know you know like like my mother wanted like the best when i say the best for me she wanted me to be with the best female the best everything like she wanted me to do everything anything i did my mother literally jumped in the air for joy Yo, I, I was so proud, yo, because I never went to no proms. I, I, I dropped out the first, like, my first year of high school. Like, I didn't, like, fuck a first year, like, the first six months. I got out of the eighth grade, went to the ninth grade for, like, two months and, and dropped out. My mother never seen me go to fucking proms. My, my mother never seen nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I never made my mother proud. That's how I felt. 
like, yo, she didn't get to see me do nothing. So when I got into the music and being the influence stuff, that shit made her so proud. Like she was loving the fact she could go like my mom did like nursing and stuff. So when she would work in the hospitals, the fact like, like females, dudes and stuff be like, oh shit, like you, you church mother, like, and she would be calling me tripping like, yo, oh my God, people know me because of you and shit like that shit kind of made her proud because I didn't give her nothing to be proud of. I was doing so good young. And then once I started gang banging and shit, that shit just was crazy. So it was like, yeah, the whole fed situation, like I just drove my mother through fucking hell, yo. So I just, I now this is me. Like, all right, ma, I went through that. I went through that. But now watch me. Now watch me. Now watch what I do. Cause I, I want I want to prove to her and not just myself. I want to prove to her that I'm not just no kid from Southwest Baltimore that's just not going to amount to anything. Everybody going to know us. Everybody going to remember her name. And I promise you that. I'm at work. About to smoke my blunt. Cause you know these motherfuckers gonna drive me crazy. They be like, yo, how you be on the forklift high like that? I don't know. I smoke CBD. <laughs> extra pair of socks that I put on because of my boots. The motherfucker's big and, big and healthy, boy, I tell you. These steel toe boots. They be, my feet be fucked up, boy, fuck with them trucks. Big, big 16s six, for your mother. We're gonna have a long day because they got us doing these mandatory hours, so... I'm gonna be in here for a while. I'll get ready to go clock in, get me some coffee real quick. These boots heavy as shit. How I look in the morning crazy. I don't give a fuck my hair brush though. <clears throat> Dang. Yo, these boots gotta be 10 pounds, yo. This way it be hot as shit in my job, too. I've got extra shirts and all that. Yo, I got the free coffee, man. I be fucking that shit up. It's the longest hallway in the world. I got. Oh, excuse me. I just drank that coffee. The longest all the way in the world. It took 15 minutes to get to my clock in. So I gotta make sure I be down here get the clock in on time or I ain't gonna get that paper. And these boots are like 10 pounds. Crazy. All right, have a good morning. Good morning. Yo, what's up, I? Right? Morning. Hey, hey, good morning. Good morning. Hanging off and chilling. You coming down today? You come down today? That's my new manager. She transferring from up top and she coming down bottom now. So they said she cool too. So that's even better. My, my last boss, I just seen him. He was cool. So it don't matter. I'm gonna work regardless. I'm about to go put my stuff in the break room real quick. And then have been go grab me a forklift before everybody come in. I get here before everybody. So that way I get a forklift, a good one. That's already charged up, all that. You gonna get some good hours today or what? That's what I'm hoping, like, we supposed to do this mandatory shit. So I'm ready. I'm ready to be here all day. So when I come in in the morning, I gotta fill this out for my truck and then fill out my worksheet. That way, yeah, I get paid. 
I'm supposed to have my phone out right now, so I do gotta hide out real quick. I'll talk to you later. So, we getting ready for the day. I got my tickets, I go hit all my spots. My co-workers got this. Got my man in the cut. And uh, say what's up to YT, Cheesy, shorty. That's my man, and that's my young boy right there in the cut. You know he gets shit done, man. We out here living lavish. <laughs> nigga say the first nigga to have a vlog at work, bro. That's lit, man. We, we, we bringing it, you know what I mean? To the mainstream, yeah. Big ass warehouse, this ain't even half of it. This bitch huge. So what I'm doing right now is separating all of my orders. It's like different lanes. So I'm, I'm putting all the 700s with the 7s, the 701s with the 701s, the 703s, etc. So. Yeah, so I'm about to go in there and pick up my order. Yeah, I got my shit on the right. Yeah, I got my shit on the right. Yeah, I got my shit on the right. If I got more than one item, I like to write it on there, like how many items, so I ain't gotta do too much. I might make my shit easy. That's why I get so much shit done at my job. My uh, percent is real high because of how I, my method on how I uh, shot my shit. So, driving forklifts easy, man, once you get the hang of it. But just knowing the lanes in this big ass warehouse is so much shit in here. Yeah, that's the only thing, but driving is another. So bam, I got my uh, my uh, 858 hours. Then I'm gonna go to my 706, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Then go to the eight, eight, four, three, two, one. Then. Everybody got their own method. Like some people do this first, some people do that first. Me, I get all my certain shit first, and then I go to this this lane. I do my 700, I do my uh, 858s, and then I go to my 700s, then I go to my eights, and then my uh, miscellaneous shit. So. I don't know, I do my, I get a lot of shit done. I, I get a lot of shit done in here, so. I don't know what they be doing, honestly. But I'm gonna tap back in with y'all in a second. Let me get some work done. Hola, papi amigo. Yeah, mama buebo. I love my Mexican homeboys, man. They crazy as shit here, man. We on our walkies right now. We ain't doing no fork left in the day. My man riding by. Say what's up for you two, so we out up? here. We ride high, man. That's my man, Bill Cosby. Oh, man. This is my trainer. This is why I'm so nice. Because my man trained me nice, you feel me? He got me all the way on my shit. So how I do my method, I got that shit from him. You feel me? He been here for years. Why I take it, you feel me? My man, Frankie the Don. He trained me right. Y'all already see my grades and shit. So y'all know what's up with us. So I can imagine this nigga shit. Your shit probably be like a 200. What the fuck, bro? Cause my shit be high. But that's my trainer. That's why I'm I'm like this. I'm trying to tell you. This the real big homie right here. Y'all gotta see this nigga drive. No vlogging, no funny as shit. Yes. Sir. <laughs> Get like plain stuff. Mm -hmm. Nothing too too you know. But I told him I need me a uniform. I'm not about to keep doing this. <laughs> Some overalls or something. Come here, you dirty as truck. Mm-hmm. Just dealing with just the forklifts and stuff, yeah. period. You don't even got really be physically doing nothing. That's you don't have, yeah, I'm ready to say you just gonna have dust all on you. Yeah. Dust in my nose, yeah. wash my hair, I'm, it's dusty. Yeah. For no reason. I feel good when I walk in, I feel like shit when I walk out. <laughs> <laughs> and then, especially knowing that I'm ready running the traffic, that, that'd be like another whole other thing. I, it's like as soon as I make the turn on the street, it's like a cheese bus I catch every day. It go two miles an hour and then it got five stops before I could get to the uh, exit. Oh my goodness, man. I be mad at the kids. Like, man, you too big to be on that bus, man. You could have walked on. You got them stopping here. You, you bigger than me. You could have walked on. I be mad at the kids. Like, I never make it to the highway. I'm mad driver. He out here after no good. Yeah. Oh, that bitch out the way. Alright, slow motion. Alright, slow motion. Alright, slow motion. Alright, slow motion. Alright, 
up the legs. I ain't had these on. I had long johns on. It's like, no, nah, I'm a line. I, man, I came in here with shorts on. Yes, I did. You right. Rich. Yeah, I always got shorts on. I had a battery change too. Yeah. Triple H. You late or no? You was here? Ain't nobody see you. You sure? Oh, yeah. You think as I am, you ain't seen me. Ain't nobody see her. Ass. <laughs> oh, all right. But that's what we doing. We just waking up late. No, I, I, Coming. I, I wake up late. Bush over here was behind me. Literally, I woke up. She was behind me. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Yeah. Oh, you weren't late, but you don't be behind me all the time. Oh, oh my God! Shut up. <laughs> You're not even supposed to be down here today. Yeah, I am. They, they told me yeah, yeah. She don't even supposed to be down. She supposed to be over. She not supposed to be up in Region One. I was in Region One. We gotta keep her up. Keep her up there, y'all. We gotta keep our ass up there. So I got my second packet. I'm rolling today. I did that easy. Got my battery chain still got done on time. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> this lady play with me every day talking about how tall I am. I don't pay her ass no mind. She never go. Oh, she never understand like I'm fucking married, yo. I don't give a fuck how every day she say, oh my god, you so tall, you so tall. Fuck on. Oh, what's up, bro? Shit. Now I'm about to wrap my uh, packet and send it over. This the before. This after. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, he cool, he cool. But them niggas gotta step up. We definitely gonna be out there talking shit because I know they was watching that game, but I ain't seen nothing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, that shit was crazy. Yo, that Miami game was crazy, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was on your ass. When they play Saturday, I think Miami plays. Oh yeah, that's crazy. I forgot all about that game. Oh shit. I'm on a piece of wood. Oh man. I'm at head, got that thing set up, don't it? Yo, I'm gonna ride my ass over, too. So right here is where we all park our shit after we done. My man Ed parking here and I park mine in front of him. I hit my snack bag. A little thing. Look, all reasons. That's why I be mad. Got a whole snack bag. I'm bluffing ass. Look at her. Ain't doing shit. <laughs> Yeah, I got one today. Ain't it crazy? I always yeah, ask you. Yeah, clearly today I ain't got one. Yep. Appreciate y'all. We need sets. That's it, crazy. Every day I ask this nigga. Now he need my lighter. I'll tell you. Next time I go to the store, I'm gonna grab two for us. Oh shit! Now nah, I need my black. See, that's my black and mild steel, brother. If you needed a light, you had to strike a strike something on the ground. <laughs> That's why I don't smoke. Yeah, because still a fan. Too many around. Yeah, because I'm telling you, it's going to go down this year. Yeah, you're right. I, I can't wait. Get that $50. Mm hmm. <laughs> he one of his best ones. It's going to be his fight, bro. Yeah. That, that motherfucking Mexican. You want me to go, but I. Yeah, the last time? Yo, yeah. Yo, toughy, yo. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of. Yeah. What's one, Jamal? Whoever just fought and got Oh, him yeah. Himself. Yeah. Yeah, that's the mob. I, I want to see him fight that little Spanish dude again. That little Spanish dude was beefing. They was beefing. Yo, their fights, all both of their fights, the first one that was a draw was good. Yeah, I watched the first. I watched the uh, second one. Yeah. He got the best. Uh, Holy Field, son. Holy Field, son. Yeah. Holy Field, son. Yeah. I ain't never seen him. I ain't, I, I know Holy it. I know Holy he got some. I ain't seen him. Yeah, he got knocked out this shit. For real? Muhammad Ali, what? Grandson, now. Yeah. yeah. Shit, that yeah. Knockout, How, yeah, the daughter, son? Yeah, yeah he nice. He nice. Yeah. But Roly time enough for a tank, yo. Yeah. 
Yo, I wanna see. Broly already intimidated by taking. He ain't even fighting yet. You think we ever gonna see a Shakur Stevens in the Haney fight? I don't know, man. I wanna see Haney fight one of the young dudes, tank somebody. But I ain't got nothing. Shakur, Shakur, Shakur. I ain't gonna lie. I like him though. I like him. I'm waiting for that Crawford and uh. And, and yeah, and Spence yeah. fight. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know if they're going to make it happen, though. They don't got no money. I mean, what's the name of them called? Well, what did he say? He said he wanted like 20 mil yeah. guaranteed, yo. That's what he said. He got the most dumps out of that division. Yeah. yeah. He been beating niggas. I ain't going to lie, but Earl, 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 Earl ready for him, though. I don't know why Boots calling out Earl though. I don't think I like Boots, but I don't think he's ready for Earl. Uh the dude from Philly. Boots Ennis. Ennis. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, he can fight his ass. He he nice. He like twenty two and oh. He nice. But I don't think he ready. Yeah, he twenty two and oh. And he and he in that weight class. What's that like one one fifty four, one fifty what they one sixty one fifty four or one sixty four? I, I think that's Walter. Because what's the name just fought at 170 something? Um, Charlo. Uh, no, uh, fucking, uh, little Mexican. Benavides? No, um. He got, he just beat the shit out of somebody, uh, Saturday. What's uh, his name? Uh, uh, De La Hoya's fighter. Oh, um. Oh, old fighter. Um. Ah, what's his name, yo? Bro, no, old oh, fighter. Um, Canelo. 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 I don't, I don't know. Forty-five. He was. He was Walter. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, That's what I'm trying. It is. One, it got to be like one forty-five or something. Like one fifty. One forty-six division or one forty-five division. But that shit gonna be crazy, yo. But I'm waiting for Devin Haney and Shakur and them to start stepping up. He ain't got no power. He ain't gonna fight. They ain't gonna let him fight. I think Haney's scared to fight him because your core is a softball. Yeah, yeah. He don't like that shit. Yeah. But that's how the dude boots in his ass. He be switching and shit all the time. Yeah. That's why. That's why Earl and Crawford gonna be the shit. The last fight? Yeah, he beat no, the shit out of Shorty. Man, he was beating the shit out of Shorty. He's gonna run at the division. He's a lot bigger than that man. He utilized that jab. That's the only thing I don't like. Yeah. I want him to move up, and then he gonna. He gonna and then see, see yeah, some pound for pound. They trying to get him on the list. They mad he ain't make the list. I don't like him in that Paul said he got two million that Rolly knock tank out. What kind of drug he on? He said, he said, I'm betting too. No, he said, he said he betting like a hundred thousand or something. And Tank said, put your money where your mouth is. I got two mil that I knocked him out. He trying to beat like Mayweather. I don't know. I like Cruz. I like Cruz. I like Cruz. He's a juggernaut. Yeah, I like Cruz. He's a juggernaut, yo. Yeah, I like Cruz. He got a lot of heart, yo. He got a tough chin. I ain't going to lie. After that Tank fight, he showed a lot, yo. Yeah, they don't even know what he did to it. I feel like, man, like he said, you seen that all access? When he was punching, that shit was, man. Yo really was, like, beating yo up, like, with one hand, yo. I don't care what they say about my man. His his ring, IQ, all that. He up there. He just got to get them names, yo. If he fight a name, he going to be the man. Get under what Mayweather like. Yo, Rolly looks so intimidating yo, in the interviews Yo, when he be talking, yo, I be like, yo, he, yo, he, try, he trying to act tough, yo, but he, you can tell it's not really him. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, he talked with his tongue, yo. He talked with his tongue. He got like a list or something, yo. He he talked funny as shit. Jay. Tank gonna knock his ass out, though. He was talking that shit to him. What's good? What's up, man? He over here watching porn on a uh, break. <laughs> and I break over. And I... Pulled his shit in here. She got a twin sister that work here. Her ass don't never come to work. <laughs> Yeah, you got room. Oh, hey. We just parking on. There's about 20 drivers in this motherfucker. I'm on my fourth one. I got a bunch of waters this time. Ain't even lunchtime and I'm on my fourth one. People don't even get four done in a day. He just trying to say anything. The whole time you're hungry, ready. Kill it, dumbass. <laughs> they don't even know you out here for people. Oh, shit. You know? 
Tell me, yeah, like, yeah, cause that's weird as shit. So yeah, yo, he said some more to today. Like that's weird. So it's like, man, yeah, he said something, but he he making it, man. Scared like, as shit, huh? Yeah, but he making it like more like making. Cause I like I don't like to come everywhere where my husband already overprotective. So I mean, that's, that's how I am. That's I, just anybody. I'm pulling straight up at my girl's house. Yeah, that's job. anybody. I don't give a fuck. You know yeah, so yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. When you got a low key stalker. Keyboard, yeah, right? that's crazy. Yeah. When you got a low key stuff, that's fucked up. But I'm pulling up with my girl shit. I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, though. I'm like, pulling up. She got, if, if, if niggas talk, if she got to say, like, a nigga followed her to our car, he yeah. keep trying to press up on, no, I'm coming down so that bitch, and I'm going to let him see me. And I'm like, yeah. I'm no, like, but I don't want, see, he a hothead. He not going, he not that type of person. But he not going, he not, I don't, <laughs> don't want to talk about him at all. Yeah, he trying to sell some shit. Yeah, he kept saying, I, yo, you'll know what I look like. He know what I look like. Yeah. He tried, he already, he first of all, he did that just to let him know. Like, yeah, I, know you. I see you, nigga. Because he, he ain't had to send him a request. He's yeah. on my page. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, all right, I see you. Yeah. Because he already knew what he was doing. Yeah, that nigga too young to be acting weird like that. Well, that's too much. <laughs> There's a lot of ass out here. <laughs> she get her ass, look, she and she get her ass stuck. I'm, I'm I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up my girl shit. I ain't playing. I'll be damned if I let a nigga try to take my bitch. Y'all gonna have to die about that one. So with this traffic jam, man. Y'all over here just chilling. He said he got MOV on his arm. <laughs> he said, "Buddy, over there." Yeah, that big, that big building right there. All right. Somebody chasing me. Why you keep chasing me, yo? You was chasing me. I'm going to. What you got your camera out for? Making sure I don't get in trouble. Cause when I do what I do, cause I need to protect myself. You want to protect yourself with these hands? <laughs> Yo, my boss is funny as shit, yo. Hold on, break. Know what I'm about to do. Caution now. <laughs> From break, you gotta do a hundred security checks just to get, up, get in and out this motherfucker, boy. But, hit my blunt. I'm gonna go down here, make me something to eat real quick before I hop on my shirt all jacked up. I don't know what the fuck, I don't know what, how the fuck my shirt just did that. Yo, I'm literally the tallest person in this motherfucker. Everybody be tripping off of that shit and I'm scared of heights. Shit crazy. I'm gonna be real quick, about to get a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Yeah, I'm about to Snacks today. About to go on my last break. Bro, it's dead last break. I take a break when I want to. I do a lot of work. So I take a break when I want. I don't know why this shirt, I don't like this shirt. Like, I must gotta wash it or something because the collar bullshit. I don't know. I'm finally off. It look like it's about to rain on this motherfucker. <sighs> Nigga, boy, I need my motherfucking feet rubbed. My shit is hurt. Them motherfucking steel toe boots ain't no joke. Usually it be hella traffic, but today I got past the first little half flowing. Now, when I get closer to the house, it's, it's starting to get a little backed up but I got past the hard part that's what I'm pretty much saying that long ass part like up right now I could jump off and really start bipping through the city for real like hitting streets to get home 
But I'm gonna just pick it up. I ain't in no rush. I'm ready to take my ass in there, wash my ass real quick, go to the gym. Got a nigga with sugar. Motherfucking caught back by it. Dang, yo. Man. I had to fuck around, yo. Yeah. 